All praises are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Lord of the worlds. Today I want to talk about a Ponzi scheme and a pyramid scheme. So first off, a Ponzi scheme is a scheme which is an investment fraud. The scheme promises high and sometimes quick returns. But in reality, it's just paying off old investors with funds collected from new investors who have also been fooled. Fooled by the promise of a quick buck, Ponzi schemes use money from their new investors to pay off old investors while taking a cut for themselves since there is no money being earned by selling a product or service. Ponzi schemes require a constant flow of new money to sustain. Not surprisingly, after a time, it becomes increasingly harder to find new investors. And when that happens, the scheme fails. Now, that's a Ponzi scheme, a fraudulent scheme that involves paying off existing investors in a non-existent enterprise with funds collected from new investors. Now, let's get to a pyramid scheme. Now, a Ponzi scheme is not to be confused with a pyramid scheme. A pyramid scheme requires recruitment to bring in more people to increase their returns. A Ponzi scheme may or may not need them. For example, a Ponzi scheme would be something like BitConnect. Y'all remember BitConnect, a fake cryptocurrency that promised huge returns from a mysterious AI trading algorithm, but in reality, it used money from old investors to pay off new investors. Okay, so pyramid schemes, you need to watch out for um, recruitment. Okay, you need to watch out for no product. Okay, and you need to watch out for the promise of high returns. Now, if you are offered compensation in exchange for doing little work, such as making payments, recruiting others, or placing online advertisements on obscure websites, you may be part of an illegal pyramid scheme, no demonstrated revenue from retail sales, no product. So we understand that these two schemes are schemes we've all, whether we knew it or not, we've all ran across these type of schemes. Now, for example... We have free score check, which is a credit score checker for just a dollar. Now, every time you buy, okay, a dollar worth of service, these people automatically bill your credit card for 30 something dollars within the next couple weeks. And you have to pay them in order to cancel the services. So we've all been on strange websites that involved one or two of these schemes. Now, I'm going to show you. You may be alarmed that the church is nothing but a huge Ponzi scheme. Now, there's nothing new under the sun. Y'all have to understand that your Bible says there's nothing new under the sun. And the wisest man in the world gave us that precept in Ecclesiastes 1.9. There's nothing new. The same thing happens over and over and over. History repeats itself. Now, there was a man by the name of Bernard. Today, I'm not going to be long with you. This man, Bernard, his name was Bernard Madoff. This man, now this man committed the hugest Ponzi scheme known to mankind. His losses range from $50 billion to $65 billion. Now, his scheme was larger than Ponzi himself, okay, where Ponzi scheme come from, the man by the name of Charles Ponzi. Now, this man, think about it. Investigators acknowledge that locating the missing funds might prove to be impossible. This man, Bernie Bernard or Bernie, 
We'll come back to that Bernie. This man was given 150 years in prison, okay? In 2021, he died of natural causes while in prison. Now, this man's story is remarkable because this rich man is a picture of Paul, okay? Now, let's go to the facts. Now, here we have a man by the name of Bernie. When I say Bernie... I'm going into burning, like a person burning in hell. Now, in the Hadiths, we have insight of a prison in hell. In the Arabic tongue, it is Bulas, which is a prison in hell, named after Paul, I believe. Now, let's keep going. In Luke 16, it gives us a story about a rich man. This rich man was in hell. Wanted to bring somebody back from the dead. And the only person in the Bible who was bringing somebody back from the dead, he wanted to. We believe that it was a familiar spirit that he encountered. This man was by the name of Saul. Saul was the man who tried his best to bring back a dead prophet by the name of Samuel. And There's a man in the New Testament, I believe it's Paul, his name is not given, the parable says it's a certain rich man, and I believe that certain rich man to be Paul. Now this man was in hell, and this man was the man talking about bringing someone back from the dead. This rich man was a picture of Paul, okay? The doctrine, teaching that Jesus Christ rose from the dead which is the leaven of the Pharisees, the man who created that religion, the founder of that religion, the father of that religion, is Paul, and he is in hell, okay? Now, let's keep going. This man had two sons, okay? One of his sons committed suicide, which I believe was a picture of Paul himself because Paul destroyed his own life. But his other son died of cancer, okay? And I believe his son to be a picture of Christ, okay? Because we know, according to the parable that was given to David when he sinned with Bathsheba, which was a story about Paul and Christ, if you look at it, in the types and shadows, the baby that was created, from David's adultery, had to die. And this is a picture of Christ. He is the son that was created by Paul. Paul created this father and son religion by the name of Christianity. And that baby was born sickly, speaking of David's son, and it had to die after a full seven days. And in the Quran, it tells us that Allah, will cause Jesus to die a natural death, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the story about the sickly child is a picture of Christ dying at the last day. Okay, I keep telling y'all, Jesus was a picture of the firstborn of Pharaoh because Jesus was the firstborn of Paul. And the church is so blind. So we have both of his sons died. Then we have his wife who is alive, bearing the guilt, bearing the shame. The Christian church right now is not being ridiculed like they should be. But there's coming a time, especially after this truth gets out all over the world. The church right now is the object of scorn. Okay, it is an object of hissing. Everyone is going to shake their head at the Christian church because the Christian church is the hugest Ponzi scheme on the planet. And I'm blowing the whistle on it, okay? The house of David is like the man who drew his bow at random and hit the king of Israel between the joints of his harness, and that was Paul, who is the true king of the Christian church, who is the true founder of the Christian church. So this man by the name of Bernie, get it, Burn, was a picture of Paul, man. 
The same thing happens over and over and over again. Just like you have Mehmet, the second, the conqueror, and then you had Vlad Dracula. Vlad Dracula was a picture of Paul, okay? I don't have to go through all these things. I actually have videos. I have videos on this topic, and you can scroll through the videos, and you can watch that one. Uh, the type and shadow of Mehmet II, which is Turkish for Muhammad, and Vlad Dracula, who was a picture of Paul. The churches fail to realize that there's nothing new under the sun. The same story gets repeated over and over and over again. And this man, Bernie, was given 150 years. His two sons were dead. One committed suicide, which was a picture of Paul himself, and the other one, will die at the last day. God is going to cause him to die. Okay, and this makes perfect sense because Allah has no sons, okay? And the woman, which is a picture of the church, okay, his wife um, literally stopped talking to him after her son died, okay? After her son committed suicide, she stopped talking to him. And she told him, before she stopped talking to him, that he was lucky because he was in a safe haven. He was in prison, but she had to deal with all the blame, all the the, the harsh um, statements, uh, people trying to kill her. Just think of the reality that she had to live with after her husband ripped the world off for $65 billion. It literally collapse the market okay we was in a dark period of time financially when this man pulled off the biggest scam known to mankind i'm telling you and this message is not going to be long but this is a picture of the christian church i'm just talking to you like a man talked to his friends i'm being a hundred percent honest with you the christian church is the hugest Ponzi scam. Now, remember, a Ponzi scam promises high returns with little to no risk. Now, think about the Christian church. Paul tells us that we're saved by grace through faith. In other words, it's mostly God doing all the work and little of ourselves. But James corrected him because James tells us in James 2.24, you see then how that by works a man is justified and not by faith only. And then verse 26, he goes on to say, for as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. So here you have Paul and you have James and they clashed. Most smart people know that James and Paul both were opposed to one another in the way they taught. Paul teaches high returns with little risk, okay? But James teaches works, okay, in less faith. Which one is right? Which one is right? Christianity is too good to be true. And that's how you know you are a part of a scam when it's too good to be true. Those are the red flags. And Christianity is promising you heaven with little to no risk. Think about that. We in Islam, we believe in Jannah, which is heaven, and we don't just automatically assume we're going. No. Okay. It's a constant work from day to day. Okay. Christianity is the biggest Ponzi scheme. Wake up. It promises high returns with little to no risk i just wanted to be 100 with y'all okay i love studying something new and once i learned about the ponzi scheme i immediately thought of the christian church now charles ponzi was the first person who created this he pioneered this scam we had bernie madoff following who committed the largest out of all scams okay then we have alan stanford we have Lou Pearlman, Tom Petters, James Paul Lewis Jr. Um, the whole United States Federal Reserve 
is a Ponzi scheme. America is a part of a Ponzi scheme. Um, they are in debt to other countries. This is exactly what they do. OK, all these men did was copy off the government. OK, and that's that's the sad truth. OK, the nation of Edom, OK, which is going into the religion of Christianity. OK, and I'm not racist, but the white man has given us the teachings of Jesus Christ in Christianity. And he is responsible, along with Paul, for giving us the biggest ripoff christianity and it's just that simple we even had a woman by the name of champion kane she totaled at 350 million dollars in losses okay she robbed the people of 350 million dollars that is the largest ponzi scheme a woman ever committed so all of these men we're walking in the footsteps of Paul. I encourage you, my brothers, to ask yourself this question. Is it by works or is it by grace? And I'm here to tell you, my brother, it is by works. It is by works. And that's what we do in Islam. We believe in works. We believe in repentance. OK, we are the nation Jesus was speaking of in Matthew 21, 43, when he said the kingdom shall be taken from you and given to another nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof. We are bringing forth the fruits. And that's just the truth. Now, with closing, I wanted to tell you that this man by the name of Bernie Madoff was a Jewish man. He was raised Jewish. OK, he is a picture of Paul burning in hell. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the real truth.